Hey guys, hi. So what is going on? Thank you so much for an amazing response in our previous videos where we shared the best 30 day preparation strategies for outstanding results. But is that enough? Like to know when to study and to know what to study are two different aspects altogether, isn't it? Now in the previous videos, we targeted that particular aspect where we understood when to study. So in today's videos, let us try to attack that what to study aspect. So to go ahead, let us try to divide that what to study category in terms of marks weightage per chapter. In total, from physics, 25-28 marks comes in the CBSE board examinations. So when we go per chapter, hey, this is how it goes. The first chapter is nothing but the chapter light, reflection and refraction, which comes basically for 5 to 8 marks. Now when we look into this 5 to 8 marks, let us try to get all of them. How do we do that? We all know that in the chapter light, reflection, refraction, there is no complete 5 marks question. It is not there at all. So what comes basically is a 2 mark and a 3 mark question combined together. Isn't it? Now let's focus on what is that 3 mark question. It's usually a numerical from mirrors or from lenses, refractive indexes, or it can also come from power of a lens. Now, as we know, power of a lens and refractive indexes does not carry three marks question. Again, it could be a two marks question. And now, so we have targeted three marks. Now, what is the rest of the marks coming from? It's coming from diagram based questions from the light chapter. Now, basically, we understood right now from the chapter light, there could be numericals and there could be diagram based questions. So try to study all the ray diagrams as much as possible, followed by the numericals from mirrors, lenses, refractive indices and power. Now moving on to the chapter Human Eye and the Colorful World. Now this is one of the most easiest chapters of CBSE 10th because basically about 5 to 8 marks question again comes from this chapter. Now what are these 5 to 8 marks questions? They are always a short short question. Because if I ask you right now what could come from the Human Eye part, your immediate answer would be the defects of human eyes. Isn't it? Yes, that it is. Exactly correct. So defects of human eye usually come for three marks and it could be myopia, hypometropia or presbyopia, anything along with the corrections, as simple as that. And then also you could get a numerical from human eye chapter coming for two marks. That is nothing but if a person has myopia, hypometropia, what is going to be the power of a lens and all that aspects. So this covers the human eye part of this chapter. Moving on to the colorful world part. What could come from colorful world part? Basically, questions from NCRT, in-text and exercise questions usually come in this particular part covering two to three marks category here. So yes, right now you have also gained that five to eight marks coming from human eye chapter. Okay, now coming down to the dawn of CBC 10th physics, that is nothing but the electricity chapter, which many of you guys might be scared of, even I was, so do not worry about it at all. Let us try to break it down. So when we talk about electricity, it is one of the most diverse chapter which can come for any kind of marks distribution. There are questions from 2 marks category, 3 marks category, as well as 5 marks category. So let us try to target that all right. Cool. So when we talk about that 2 marks category, questions related to factors affecting resistances are the most favorite. Moving on to the 3 mark category, you have basic numericals coming from Ohm's law, coming from resistances, which are series and parallel, or you can also get electrical power concepts. Yes, when it comes to 5 marks category, you have heating effects of electric current, energy related problems and cost related problems coming out from this particular chapter. Correct. So basically, if you notice here, almost numericals takes the precedence over anything else. So try to focus more in terms of numericals in this particular chapter and also uh, the activities of this chapter, especially the Ohm's law activity to verify Ohm's law. That is one of the most important questions coming out from this particular chapter. Okay. So now let's jump into an another easy chapter that is magnetic effects of electric current. Now basically this is a very simple chapter and the questions are very sure short. For example, when you go through it, you would very clearly understand that at least two to three marks questions comes from the hand rules part. Now, now this hand rules could be from right hand thumb rule, Fleming's left hand rule or Fleming's right hand rule, but one or the other question is always there in every board examination. After this, a very sure short question from DC motor and AC generator. Now these two topics are like bro bros. What happens basically is uh, if a working principle is coming from DC motor, then definitely the functioning of AC generator always comes. Now same thing happens if the working principle of AC generator comes, then you will get the functioning of a DC motor with diagrams and all. So basically this chapter covers about five to eight marks again from the board examination perspective. 
Now moving on to the final chapter for physics and one of the most simplest chapter not only in terms of uh, you know the syllabus but also in terms of the examination point of view because every year like if i take out of 10 uh, at least six of the question papers have contained the question that is the biogas plant from this particular chapter which comes for three marks basically always now if this question is not coming then the second priority question is nothing but the improvement in the uh, technologies which has been done in the case of you know charcoal or in terms of biogas plant always comes to the picture for two marks finally if these two questions are not coming from this chapter then only you would have to study about all the other power plants in the most general manner which could again come for three marks so all in all this particular source of energy chapter contains three to five marks and this is how my dear students the entire syllabus and the key points of these chapter looks like with the marks percentages so guys that was it thank you so much for your support for your previous video as well as i know that you're gonna extend your support for this video as well now guess what we're gonna do in our next video our next video is going to be your daily routine which you can follow to score that 100 percentage of marks in cbsc 10th for the next 30 days isn't it we have actually covered what should be our routine for the 30 days in the broad level what you should study we have covered in this videos now let us try to achieve that part that how to actually study in the most efficient manner in the next video so i believe all of you guys will be waiting for it so let us meet in the next video until then this is abhishek signing off